I'm Miss from the upcoming. Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So, could you tell us? It's a, you've previously worked with Argman before. So, how did you approach this project? Well, this this project was very different because of the nature of there being no dialogue. So, actually, Paul Cooley, the producer, um, took me out for lunch whilst I was working on Early Man, and he showed me some storyboards and gave me a rough outline of the story. And um, and I had to actually start working almost then because of the fact that there was no dialogue. So they were putting storyboards together, but they needed, because there was no dialogue, sometimes no one knew what was going on. So they needed music to sort of play a larger role than possibly it normally does. And so I came on very, very early and I wrote a lot of suites and a lot of um, scores to try and help sell the story as it's moving along. So that was a first for me and uh, pressure, but a lot of fun. <laughs> Yeah. And I guess because of the kind of sci-fi element to it, you were using lots of different instruments than maybe perhaps you're normally used to. Kind of. Yeah, I mean, the uh, the joy of, I think, all Arman films is the palette can be very, very wide. Um, you know, most of the time on a score, you're trying to hone that down and find the sound for the picture. And uh, that was the case with this. I had a lot of thematic material. But there's not many films where you can one minute do a sci-fi cue and then follow that with a kind of bit of drum and bass and then something else straight after. So it, they're very... Um, it's an eclectic mix and it's a lot of fun, yeah. Everything with Arden has got a bit of a twist, so yeah. you, need some, you get to write sci-fi type music, but also with just lots of different styles thrown in. So we've got surf skippers and drummers with drum and bass and all kinds of different things going on. So it's been a great opportunity and great to work with that. Yeah, it's much more challenging. Um, so normally, a lot of the time, you're actually trying to stay out of the way of the dialogue and not do too much. And in the action, you're sort of overwhelmed sometimes by effects and things. But in this, it was, uh, um, I had to be uh, uh, much more aware of the kind of underlying emotion of the characters. And, and sometimes you get a scene where there might be something else going on and the music had to kind of do that kind of um, role. So, yeah, it's great, really. They're all uh, like family, really. So, I mean, I've been on this for 18 months, so that's a long time for a composer to be on a project. Um, and they are always welcoming and lots of great ideas kind of bouncing back and forth and there's a real joy. Well, I've got a movie for Netflix to do before Christmas and uh, I'm on a channel for um, ATV Russian Spider at the moment too. So yeah, keep him busy. But yeah.